one of the most important aspects of having a VBAC is finding a care provider that is truly supportive of VBACs. So, you know, some care providers, they'll say that they'll let you try for a VBAC, but they're usually more comfortable with you actually having a repeat C-section. And if you really want a VBAC, you don't want this type of, of care provider. You want somebody that has not only attended numerous successful VBACs, but also wholeheartedly believes in them being the safest option for women who are good candidates for a VBAC. And so if that's you, if you are a good candidate, you want the care provider you select to 100% support your decision. You want them to be your champion. You want them to do everything that they can to help you get that V back while of course, you know, keeping your safety and your baby's safety as as the number one priority. And when interviewing care providers, you know, somebody can say, yeah, yeah, no, I'm really supportive of, you know, of VBACs. Um, but they keep bringing up C-sections, like trying to like subtly get you to still consider another C-section. That could be a, a red flag. You want somebody that's like, yes, like you're a great candidate for a VBAC. I support this. This is going to be the plan. This is how I'm going to help you get that VBAC. Um, and and with that said, of course, you also want them to be honest about the risks of VBACs, your particular chances of having one. Um, but, and, and, and I'm going to go over like questions to ask care providers in the next, in the next video to help you get like deeper into how they really feel, but, you know, really pay attention to how they talk about potential risks and your chances. You know, if it really just seems like they're just being honest, they're making sure you have all the information, then great. But if it seems like they're using that information to manipulate you into having another C-section, that could be another warning sign. Um, and so oftentimes midwives who have privileges at a hospital, usually a university hospital, you're, they're your best bet for this kind of care. Um, and you can begin the process of finding a quality VBAC supportive care provider by reaching out to you know, friends in your area who have had a VBAC and asking who their care provider was. You can also go to the ICANN website, which is ican-online.org backslash education. Again, ICANN dash online.org backslash education. And you can find the nearest ICANN chapter to you. And this will help to connect you with, with women who can provide information specific to your area, VBAC information specific to your area. Um, and if you live in a smaller town that doesn't have any, you know, pro VBAC care providers, research doctors and midwives hospitals in the city nearest to you, because you'll probably, again, have the best luck with somebody um, who delivers at a hospital, usually affiliated with a university, as they often have the most up-to-date information about VBACs and the, the risks of repeat C-sections. And so finally, after doing this research, create a list of care providers you would like to interview. Um, but before you meet with each candidate, go ahead and give their, their office a call just to confirm that they do actually support VBACs because you don't, you don't want to waste your time. Um, and again, the next video will go deeper into what questions to ask these candidates when you're interviewing them. Mm -hmm.